What's going on, everyone? Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully, you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Pandemic Update for Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where I do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Let's face it, we're in the middle of the summer. There's a summer COVID surge. Many people are not being informed with what's going on with the surge. This surge is real. It's been impacting every corner of the United States and many other countries around the world have been experiencing a rise in COVID, but yet you do not hear much about it on the news. And it is a real threat. COVID did not end. COVID continues to be a big thing, which is why you need to be informed each and every day of what's going on with COVID and other viruses. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell share these videos with anyone you know and of course leave a comment down below let's try for 200 like button hits today the more people that hit that like button the more this content will get spread throughout the youtube algorithm and my ultimate goal is to keep as many people informed and safe as possible all right we have just a few news stories today then we're going to take a look at some data, including some state data, pollen levels, you know, latest air quality levels, and some of the stuff that we look at daily. Plus, we are going to do some wastewater sites today, so we'll take a look at several wastewater sites today. First off, in Virginia, hikers are infecting Virginia wildlife with COVID-19. This comes from a new study, and it shows that several different animals in Virginia are being infected, including deer mice. Virginia possums, raccoons, groundhogs, eastern cottontails, and eastern red bats, according to the new findings. Yes, this is not good whatsoever. So, essentially, hikers, you know, in the summertime, in springtime, summertime, maybe even the fall, a lot of people go hiking in the woods. Well, guess what? We're starting to see animals pick up COVID as well. And this is not something new. We have seen this in white-tailed deer in several different studies across the United States and I believe in Canada as well. I will probably be putting together a new section in my COVID study archive just on COVID in other animals besides humans. I think it's time that we do that and I think this is one study or maybe the first study that will make that archive. I'll show you the website in just a little bit. Taking a look at this now. Once again in Virginia, Charlottesville shelter hit with COVID-19 outbreak. A half a dozen people at the Charlottesville shelter recently tested positive for COVID-19, creating logistical issues for the city's only overnight shelter. So this is not good. COVID outbreaks, they continue to be a problem all across the United States. Something else that's not good. Up in Canada, Ontario. Guess what they're doing? In Ontario, they are going to be halting wastewater testing for COVID and other viruses. That's right. Ontario is officially ending its COVID-19 wastewater surveillance program as of Wednesday in a move some public health experts say is short-sighted. And I agree. This is terrible. Yet again, another country, another place that is taking away wastewater data or some form of COVID data. We're seeing this happen all around the world. You know, the United Kingdom does not do COVID in wastewater anymore. I don't get it. This is something that should be just demanded by people who live in any country. You need accurate and timely data of what is going on with COVID. You need to know what the COVID levels are. You need to know how safe it is in your community. Hundreds and hundreds of studies have come out since the start of this pandemic showing all the different things that one COVID infection can do to you. And yet here we are, we're taking away data that helps keep people safe, that shows what the level of COVID is in your community for a virus that is disabling, deadly, it can cause you to be hospitalized. Well, heck, you could be off work for a couple weeks and not afford to be off work because, you know, you don't have sick pay, but yet you get sickened with COVID. And we know if you don't take a rest, if you don't rest well while having a COVID infection, 
we do know that that increases your chances of long COVID and that you need as much rest as possible when you get positive for COVID. All this because, well, guess what? You don't know what the levels are in your community because stuff like this, where COVID data gets taken away. It is just totally ridiculous. It should not be happening. Speaking of someone being positive for COVID, John Fetterman is still positive for COVID, and he is recovering at his home in Pennsylvania, and hopefully he will get better soon. We wish him a full and speedy recovery from COVID, and hopefully he is back in Senate relatively soon. Alrighty, I talked about my website a few moments ago. Every chance I get, I like to show the website. I like to increase exposure to get more people to stay informed. And who knows, maybe you're trying to do some research. We mentioned my site does have an archive of COVID studies and papers. Effects on lungs, effects on heart, the brain, lengths of diabetes, uh, long COVID studies, taste and smell, studies on kids, COVID variants, transmission, vaccines, and miscellaneous studies. The newest uh, section is COVID variants, and coming soon, there will be a section for studies on COVID in animals. It'll be named something like that, because let's face it, I think it's time I do that. There are enough studies out there now that it warrants a section of its own. We also have the COVID positive archive, which unfortunately that continues to grow for the wrong reasons, because, well, more people are testing positive. And of course, I do want to add some past cases, and I actually do have something here. Uh, just take a look at this. These are all COVID positives that I have yet to add to the archive. These are recent ones within just like the past week. These are people that have tested positive. Although Airbud Creator, we did not show you that one. Yes, the creator of the movie Airbud did recently have COVID. That was a couple weeks ago. But, yep, I'm going to be working to hopefully get this list down and add it in there. But you know what keeps happening? As I add a few more. New ones pop up, and I have to add that to my list, and, well, yeah, it's been a crazy summer surge. All right, moving on. Taking a look at the national allergy map for today, and we do see that 53% of the country is in medium status. The amount of orange on the map, it's been increasing over the last week or so, and it's been pretty consistent. Even Texas is now seeing some orange, and down in the southeast, you're starting to see some yellow as well. So pollen levels all around the country have been trending a little bit higher. Yes, there is some green in Vermont, but and New Hampshire, but there's some yellow in Maine now, some orange in western New York, Pennsylvania, Wyoming, Montana. A lot of places are just a, a mixed bag of pollen levels, which is different from what we saw in the beginning of July. Now let's take a look at those air quality levels around the country, which have been a big problem for several days now, and still is to some degree, but not as bad. So if you're in places like Montana, uh, Idaho, Things are a little bit better. Now, southern Idaho, different story. Oregon, still bad for you. Washington, things are a little bit better. California, really bad air qualities in the northern portion of your state, in the eastern portion of your state as well. Colorado, Utah, portions of the plains, pretty bad. The Great Lakes are fine in the southern region until you get to about Wisconsin and Michigan. And that's where it's bad. I shouldn't even say Great Lakes. The Midwest is bad until you get to the lakes. And Michigan, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Detroit, Michigan, yeah, all these different places are not too good. And here in Pennsylvania, yeah, we're having bad air quality today too. It does look like it's in the yellow, but when you look at the sky outside, it is really hazy. Some of that wildfire smoke is still meandering around. And down in the southeast, you do have some yellow starting to pop up as well. Taking a look at heat-related illnesses, they continue to be a problem all across the country at this time. Looks like there's an arrow going on here. The point I'm trying to make is, New here it goes, New England is not doing great. Portions of the Mid-Atlantic, not great. Portions of California and the West Coast. Yeah, there's uh, heat-related illnesses. They continue to be a problem across the country. Want to learn more about heat-related illnesses or just weather in general? And you can do that over at my other Twitter account which is Climate Data Report, I should say X account, but I still consider it to be Twitter. Taking a look at Philadelphia for today. They reported on Tuesday 828 EMS incidents, which that is still a lot of EMS incidents. And yes, we are going to do this again. Take a look at Philadelphia's Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority. You can see here, there's a lot of uh, issues going on. Operator issues continue to be a problem. There's other issues as well due to operator 
issues and other stuff which is non-related to that but we've been following this for several days look at this two hours ago operator unavailability operator unavailability operator unavailability on and on it goes it's just an absolute disaster and right now is rush hour and it's a big in-person office day take a look at montgomery county we see not too many calls right now just eight ems calls that's a good thing to report taking a look at chester county we do see eh, quite a bit busier several falls and lift calls yeah that's not good heart problems respiratory difficulty twice sick person stroke seizures injured person i was listening to philadelphia last night the north band which is basically the northern sections of the city and i did hear quite a few calls last night that stated sick person so that's not a good thing taking a look at canada and let's refresh this the virus levels in canada at this time Hopefully we will get a new number. It looks like they are moderate at this time for COVID. Flu A is low, flu B is low, and RSV is low at this time. All right, let's take a look at some wastewater sites around the country. You can see I was looking at Lewiston, Maine earlier, and eh, you know what? Let's show Lewiston, Maine, and I'll show you what's going on there. The COVID levels have been trending higher. Few wonky movements recently downward, but overall, the overall trend for summer has been upward. We'll have to see if they peak relatively soon. The levels are listed at high at this time. We're not concerned about the other viruses. Norovirus is medium at this time. I think norovirus is going to be the only other virus that we look at today when we go to wastewater sites. Let's go down to Alabama. How about we go and take a look at what is going on at Valley Creek? I believe this is when we'll take a look here. And we do see here that COVID levels still remain high. And norovirus is medium and rising ever so slightly at this time. Now let's go somewhere further to the west. How about we go to Kansas? Can we do Kansas? So, uh, let's go over to, yes, we can do Kansas City. And let's go to right here. Here is Call Point, Kansas City, Kansas now. And taking a look here, we can see here, COVID levels. It's actually listed as low, but it is rising ever so slightly at this time. And norovirus is listed at low at this time. Let's do a couple more wastewater sites. We'll do two more. How about we come out here to California and see what is going on in Sacramento at this time because I am curious and in Sacramento we do see levels are dropping ever so slightly at this time now let's briefly go over to wastewater from the CDC and I want to go down to New Orleans and I want to see what we are seeing there now mind you this data did not update since last Friday but we want to see what's going on in New Orleans and we can see here that the wastewater levels there's a lot of red for those who are new here and don't know red and orange those are high levels of covid red being the highest possible level and we can see yes there's red sites there's levels that are dropping some of them are still rising lafayette yep that's still rising you can see saint mary's parish or saint mary i should say yeah that's still rising as well and that is still in the red so that is not good already moving on now let's take a look at what is going on in new jersey today and new jersey reports 515 hospitalizations 42 people in the icu yes that hospital number continues to rise new jersey has yet to peak hopefully a peak in new jersey comes soon i do want to zoom this out briefly just to uh, show you where they peaked last summer let's see if we can find that here yes last summer's peak was right around in October. So this actually happened quite a bit later, the surge. It, I mean, it started later and ended later, and their peak was around 667, we'll call it. So yes, they did peak relatively higher than where they're at right now. But actually, no, here we go. 684 is the number I was looking for on the 4th of October from last year. So we'll have to see if they get that high right now i'm thinking it's not going to get that high unless we see a peak slight drop and then another wave pops up which you know that always is a wild card it's happened in several countries not expecting that right now but it's something we have to keep an eye on all right new york state let's take a look there new york state today does look like their cases are starting to level off slightly you can see it here follow this line up 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 and then they started to level off some and 1,585 people did test 
positive in the last 24 hours. Well, since yesterday's update, this data actually does come from several days ago as it is lagged. Hospitalizations went up slightly in New York State. 1,162 people hospitalized, 105 people in the ICU in New York State. All right, now let's take a look at what is going on in the state of Michigan. And Michigan this week reports 2,571 new cases, and they did report six new deaths this week. That 2,571 cases is lower than last week's report of 2,701 cases. So it's good to see that they may potentially be peaking, but I do want to point something out for any of these states, and that is we've been talking about variants lately, and there is a new variant that is rising to the challenge to outpace everything else, and that is KP.3.1.1. We'll have to see what happens when that becomes dominant. It's possible that may become dominant as early as this Friday. If not, it'll probably happen on the update following that. Remember, we will get a variant update this upcoming Friday. Taking a look at Colorado, starting to th see things slow down a little bit. This week's hospitalizations, 137. Emergency department visits diagnosed with COVID is at 1.8%. That's up slightly. Good news, the positivity rate is down by 3.1% to 15.5%. And cases reported this week is 2,319. That's not good. That is up by 237. Perhaps more people went to get a test. Good to see the positivity rate drop. Sometimes the positivity rate is the first metric that drops during a COVID surge. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. It does look like they are slowing off. Hospitalizations only went up slightly. We may start to see Colorado peak soon as well, which would be some good news. Alrighty. Thanks for watching this update. That is all I have for today. Remember, subscribe down below if you want to stay informed. And if you're trying to do some research or just want to join and become a member of my website and post on it. I mean, you are free to post anywhere. It is free to sign up to become a member. Datareport.info is my site. Once again, subscribe down below. Give this a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share these videos with anyone you know and of course leave your comments down below we'll have another edition of the pandemic update again tomorrow thursdays we usually do have some more states that will update hopefully we will get an update out of ohio tomorrow until i see you again tomorrow stay safe everyone and have a fantastic wednesday evening thanks for watching see you all again next time bye bye